You know, I just saw some things that uh, made me have to do a video. Things I need to comment on. I am not one to watch the Golden Globes. Uh, I'm not one to watch award shows that much. I might catch the Oscars every now and then, but um, that's about it, and that's kind of rare. So, Sunday night, I did not watch the Golden Globes. I had no idea about what Meryl Streep said until I was listening to Howard Stern on Monday while I was working. Okay, so I didn't know about, you know, a comment, backlash, outrage, all this kind of stuff. Okay. As I do this video, it is 1.43 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Um... Uh, those off during the uh, national championship game. Congrats to Clemson. But um, started watching some YouTube videos, and um, I saw Dana White's response through TMZ Sports right here on YouTube, and I wanted to see exactly what it was that Meryl Streep said. Because I saw his comments and wasn't really high on what he said. Uh, so I wanted to see what she said. Okay. Did a search. And I came across this MMA Junkie article. Um, I think it's titled Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep's Golden Globes, Golden Globes speech got MMA fans all riled up. Okay. And in the article... It has her quote. It says, Who are we? And what is Hollywood anyway? It's just a bunch of people from other places. So Hollywood is crawling with outsiders and foreigners. And if we kick them all out, we'll have nothing to watch but football and mixed martial arts, which are not the arts. Okay. That was a low blow, a low blow and a cheap shot. Uh, do I like the comments? No. Uh, but am I am I gonna go on some hateful rage? Uh, you know, uh, backlash. Uh, you know, post or speech or whatever. No. Uh, the woman is sixty seven. She's entitled to her opinion. And uh, hey, MMA is not for everybody. We all know this. Okay. Um. And you know. My opinion, my feeling is always, as usual, to take the high road, you know, in most cases. And, you know, we, we know what the deal is. You know, it's not for everybody, you know, and we have to understand that. Some people are going to diss us and talk about us, talk about the sport. You know, let's let, let them be and just, you know, wish them well and we move on and enjoy what we enjoy. Okay. So, in the same article, okay. It, it has a post from Bellator President Scott Coker. Okay. He apparently did a Twitter post. Okay. And on his Twitter, he wrote Merrill a letter. It says, Merrill, I'm a lifelong fan of your work, but also a lifelong martial artist who happens to promote mixed martial arts around the world. The global sport of mixed martial arts celebrates male and female athletes from all around the world who work years tirelessly honing their craft and, yes, art. They come from every country and every walk of life. We at Bellator support them and honor their skill. Please be my guest at the LA Forum on January 21st and you will see that mixed martial arts is truly artistic, which will feature fighters from all over the world competing at a world class level. Scott Coker, President Bellator MMA. And his tweet says, As a martial artist and an MMA promoter, here is my open letter and hashtag Bellator 170 invite to the very talented hashtag Meryl Streep hashtag Golden Globes. Okay. Now, the letter is dated and timed at January 8, 2017 at 8.04 p.m. His tweet was at 10.08 p.m. on January 8. Okay. Now, 
that was classy. I know some people might say, well, that's a publicity stunt. He's just trying to get her there so it can be a big story or whatever. Even if it is, he had a classy, mature response. Okay? One that doesn't embarrass the sport. One that makes us look respectful and good. Now, let's go on to Dana's response, which I'm not going to play. You can pull it up on TMZ Sports. It's a minute and 58 second video. Okay, his response to Meryl Streep. In his response, he says that Meryl Streep is an old, uppity, 80-year-old woman. That's his response, okay? Dana White is the president of the number one mixed martial arts promotion in the world. He is arguably the face of MMA and the most powerful man in MMA. He has insulted a woman, a world-famous actress, uh, who many people I'm sure know more than him. His response comes off as immature, sensitive, but hurt, and it makes all of us look bad. The sport, the fighters, the fans. It is not a good look and sound for MMA. I say this in the comment section of that TMZ Sports video. Now compare his statement to what Scott Coker said. Okay, Scott Coker was complimentary. He was inviting. He was welcoming in her into the sport to take a peek at it. You know, and as I said, maybe 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 it's part publicity stunt. You know, to get some attention. But still, it was a classy response. He didn't insult the woman. He said nothing bad, didn't disrespect the sport, didn't make, didn't make us look bad. Okay. Dana called this woman old and uppity. He said she was 80 years old. The woman is 67. So he's insulting her age. It's not good, man. This was not what we needed. As I said in my comment on the TMZ video, Meryl Streep, the mainstream media or whoever, whoever wants to smear MMA, whoever wants to smear the UFC and make us look bad, can take that video, can take your words and post them, play them on any national network TV show uh, all over the Internet, wherever they want to play it. They can quote you. Matter of fact, I typed in Meryl Streep and MMA in the search engine, and the, you know what headline popped up? It it was pictures of uh, Meryl Streep and how she insulted MMA, what she said, and then it were a bunch of pictures of Dana White and his quotes, old, uppity, 80-year-old woman. That's what, that's what pops up. That does not make us look good. That makes us look low-rent, classless. What he should have done was taken the high road like Scott Coker did. Scott Coker, which I didn't even think about in my comment on the on the TMZ video I did not think of inviting her in to take a peek but Scott Coker did and that was a smart thing to do and not for publicity but hey maybe you can change her mind maybe you can make her appreciate it more but Dana makes us look bad and he runs the woman down what he should have done when they asked about Meryl Streep as I said in my comment on that video he should have said you know what? I respect Meryl Streep uh, as an actress. She's, you know, she's had a great career, uh, and sh she is entitled to her opinion as well as uh, everyone else is. This sport is not for everyone, and I understand that. But MMA is the greatest sport in the world. That's all he had to say. That's all he had to say. He could have went to Scott Kokorod. He could have invited her, but that's all he had to say. And what does that do? It diffuses the situation. It does not embarrass the sport. It doesn't embarrass the fighters. It doesn't embarrass the fans. It doesn't embarrass the promotion. 
it makes us look it makes us look better than Meryl Streep because Meryl Streep did take a cheap shot. She took a low blow at MMA and football, but she took a she took a low blow at MMA. And we could be looking better than Meryl Streep, but instead, thanks to Dana, we look worse. We 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 did not need that comment. We did not need the insults. Dana White is a 47 year old man. He should know better. He should be more mature than what he is. You know. I'm 34 and I I know better. You know. This guy is the president of the number one MMA company in the world. We did not need that kind of comment. We don't need those kind of headlines. He should have taken the high road. And we'd all look better and be better for it. So, I, I had to do this video after I read Scott Coker's quote. And compare and contrast to what Dana did. I had to do this video to point it out to everybody. This should be noted. And to everybody out there, you know, was Meryl Streep insulting and, and, and low class and would have had a low blow in, in what she said? Yes, she was, but we don't have to be low blow, low class, low rent either. We can take the high road. We can look better than Meryl Street. We can say, you know, God bless the woman. We wish her well. We have nothing bad to say about her, but we believe MMA is the best sport in the world. That's it. That's it. No need for us to take, take cheap shots because for every cheap shot that's taken, she can say, aha, see, I knew it was it, it was not the arts. I knew it was low class. They have no respect, you know. We're just shooting ourselves in the foot. So thank you, Scott Coker, for what you said, for, for being respectful, uh, for being a great representative with your words and with your tweet and your open letter and invitation to Meryl Streep. You know, that was the way to handle it. That was the way the sport needed to be represented. And Dana, you man, you got to do better, man. You can't keep flying off the handle and being so sensitive and stuff, man. Think long term. Think big picture, man. You know, don't, don't, we don't need this. We don't need the negativity, man. Take the high road. Take the high road. So, just have to drop this, and this will be tweeted to the UFC, Bellator, Dana, and Scott Coker. You know, whenever I do these videos, I, I tweet them to whoever I'm talking about because I want them to see what I'm saying. And, guys, as I said, she was wrong, but we don't have to be wrong either. We can be better. And I encourage everybody watching this video to be better. Thanks for watching.